there are three common mistakes that people make when doing moashi here. The first one is they lift the foot instead of lifting the knee. This is because to lift the knee up out of the side, we have to use the abductor muscles on the outside of the leg, which are not the biggest muscles in the leg. We're more used to using the muscles at the front and back, and therefore people lift the foot using the hamstring muscle instead of lifting the knee out with the abductors. The second mistake that people make is that they lift the knee to the front directly instead of coming out to the side. This is taking a shortcut and it means that they pivot the supporting foot early on. While this may be acceptable in tournaments, it's not a powerful kick because effectively from here we're only kicking from knee to foot. This is the only power that we get in the kick. Lifting the knee out to the side, then rotating the whole body, we're getting all of this power of the rotation, all of the weight of the body into the kick. The third mistake that people make is they try to kick too high. It's better to kick low here than to kick high with the bad technique. So correct basic moshigiri is knee up to the side, then pivot the supporting foot while we kick, then pivot again as we step down. So from here, center statue. Each knee sun. Another thing that is important about Moash here is to keep your back straight and head up throughout the kick. A lot of people when they're kicking Moash here lean backwards or they duck down as they're kicking. And this takes away all the power from the kick. Try to keep the head up and the back straight as you're coming around with the kick, all the way through and down. Here is now going to demonstrate the moshi from the Zenk statue position. Come there. From here, knee comes up out to the side, each supporting foot stays. High knee lift, higher than the hip. Then coming around with the kick, knee, pivoting on the supporting foot, then stepping forward. And yam. This is how to do wash. Now one count. Think it's actually can't get. Each. Yummy. When we're punching and kicking, the position of both hands is very important throughout the kick. So from reverse punch position, as we're kicking, we must lift the knee up out to the side, not to the front. Both hands stay where they are. Squeeze the elbow in, keep the punching hand out in front. Knee up. Then pivoting around, keeping the punching hand to the front, kick. Then coming down and shoot with the other hand. The hand on the hip must be squeezed in towards the back as much as possible. From here, kicking, coming around, squeezing the elbow in. Don't let this come out here like this. Squeeze it in. Kick, then step in, and then punch. It is not necessary to kick high to have a good moash here. But an effective moash here can be done low. This can be even more effective than the Jodo kick. For sparring and tournament fighting, the freestyle moash here is a little bit different. We come more direct with the knee, 
This speeds up the kick and camouflages it, but it is less powerful. So from here, we may lift the knee directly to the front, pretending to do my gear, but then switching to do my gear. Sometimes people will come on the inside as though they're going to do for a wash here, but again, they switch and do wash here. Also kicking from the front leg, back leg comes up, knee is directly towards the opponent, and then kicking out. Or from long distance, we may slide in, so the opponent feels that we're too far away for the kick to be effective. They feel they're in a safe zone, but we move in with the kick. 